What if I told you that you can get a MadVR NV Extreme video processor for much less than you think you might could? Well, today I want to share with you an exciting program that you might not be aware of. And I brought two guests on the show to talk more about it. Today I've got Rick Latofsky, the CEO of MadVR Labs, and Scott Noonan with Audio Advice. Fellas, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks, Michael. Great to be on with you and see you again. Fantastic, Michael. We love being on with you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, guys. Well, I just learned about this new program, and we're going to dive in just a little bit briefly about what MavVR Envy is, some of the features, maybe the differences between the Mark I and Mark II, because Rick, you just came out with a Mark II, and that thing is phenomenal. But we've also got a really cool pre-owned program that Audio Advice offers. And so I'm excited to share with my audience, probably for the first time they've ever heard about this. And so I would love to dive into this a bit. And so a lot of my audience, even recently, have expressed that, you know, let's face it, this whole home theater hobby, it can get expensive. I mean, some of the products that we have are way, way above budget. And so when you release the MavVR MK2, the Mark II, it's way on up there in price. And so a lot of people don't have that kind of budget. But I think today they're going to find out in this video how much lower they can get a lot of the same features, but a much more affordable price. And so Rick, for those of us that don't know even what the MavVR NV Extreme is, give us a real brief overview of some of the cool features. Yeah, well, thanks, Michael, for that overview. That was great. So the MavVR NV Extreme and, and the, uh, the Pro model as well feature several different options. And in particular, our dynamic tone mapping, um, awarded best in class multiple times. And it really provides the most vivid picture that you can imagine. So that's really exciting. You know, when you've got those bright, bright, like highlights in the HDR, but all that fine granularity. Because without this, you can wind up with crushing your whites, crushing your blacks, you know, HDR that looks dark. So being able to bring out that really vivid experience is something people just absolutely love. You also have our new motion AI, which is the world's first AI-based motion handling that gives you that perfect image while controlling all the judder and shake, but while still keeping the image cinematic. We also have our instant aspect ratio detection to be able to handle all those black bars. People just go crazy on the black bars. So being able to stretch that out with nonlinear stress, things like subtitle management, and of course, exceptional calibration support as well. And there's several other features, but that should give kind of like a high level overview of what the product's about. Hey, I appreciate that, Richard. So Scott, I would love to hear about this program. I just want to get right into it because I think my audience is wanting to know how could I get this awesome product at a much more affordable price? Yeah, so, you know, we, we've we been big believers in MadVR and its units from the very beginning. And Rick and I were laughing before, like, you know, when he first pitched me on, I'm like, oh my gosh, another video processor. And then once I saw what it could do and put it in my house, I'm like, okay, all devices all in. And we rapidly became you know, the seller in the United States sort of leading the way and people would call us from across the country. Hey, you guys picked it up. Should we pick it up? Like, yeah, you should guys, you should get it. Um, but anyways, we became very, very good at setting these things up and delivering them. Well, when the Mark II was coming out, uh, which was the newest version that was just released uh, earlier this year, uh, Rick called me and, and we were, you know, analyzing the Mark II and he had me test it in my house and look at the new box and had better cooling and everything else. And my question for him is, my gosh, the Mark I, like all the original units, which had NVIDIA 2080s and 3080s in them, like these are incredible. And they basically can do everything the new one can do. It doesn't have the new box, the new fans, or whatever. But the, like, what's going to happen to these? Because the early adopters have all got them. Sure. And so he said, well, let me brainstorm with you. And we went back and forth. Anyways, what we concluded was uh, we put together this program where Audio Advice takes the 2080s and 3080s from people that had already bought them. And usually the people that had them are like really into this, right? They are early adopters that had them and they wanted to move into Mark II. And, you know, the Mark II is just under $16,000. And we wanted to give those folks an ability to upgrade at a reasonable price point so they could pay a reasonable price, upgrade. Then what they do is they ship the 2080 or 3080 to Audio Advice. We then completely rebox it. We put a brand new remote in it. 
We run it through our lab to make sure it basically is exactly the same as it was new. We look at the exterior of the box, plus turn it on, run it through a full video system. And then it gets resold. And as you might imagine, they tend to move very quickly. I think the most we've ever had at any one time of 2080s and 3080s, maybe 15 right. representing the entire country of people turning them in. So there's sometimes you could go and, and on our website, and I know, Michael, you're going to put a link in, I'm sure, to our Probably. page that, that has these. But you could go there and might not see it. And then you yeah. need to give us a call and say, hey, I want to be next in line uh, for either 2080 or 30. But the upshot is you take a, a basically a box that if you're trying to get a new today mm -hmm. and you're, you know, the new one, Mark II is 15995 bucks. You yeah. can get into the 2080 at $7,995. So it's fully recertified and comes with a full two-year warranty on it that starts when you get it. So brand new warranty coming in with it. Or you could go into the 3080, which was the, the next version of that gen that had a little bit newer NVIDIA card in it for $9,995. So for people that didn't have it in their budget, you mm -hmm. can essentially get what Rich just talked about. Everything he mentioned, aspect ratio control, better visuals, better HDR, all in these same boxes. So it has been an incredible deal. And obviously we've delivered them to DIY folks all around the country and luxury customers who you know wanted them as well. Sure. And then Scott, yep. if I may just jump in for a second, another good point is even our motion AI, which is the most highly coveted and exciting feature of the product. People ask, hey, can I run this on a 3080 or can I run mm -hmm. it on, you know, first generation, you know, some of the, the earliest units produced? And the answer is yes. So, uh, you know, being able to have that coverage and get those capabilities is, and have motion AI at your fingertips is fantastic. Yeah. And I, I think one interesting point is you bring those up. You know, as you know, Michael, there's a lot you can do to set this up. Like, yeah, for sure. Like, and a lot of it, then, honestly, over my head. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, I was telling you guys before, you know, like when we when we jumped on, uh, I went and set one up earlier today. Yeah. And we were putting in a 2080, which, by the way, it's, it's going to be in this incredible video. I'm going to release a home theater video here in the next few weeks that that has uh, this Mad VR in it. And this in this particular case, it was a 16 by 9 screen. And which is most people think about using video processors in a, in a scope screen or 2.4 so sure. that they can fill the screen and stretch and that kind of stuff. But with a 16 by nine, it gave us incredible capability and we've got horizontal masking, right? Yeah. So we go full 16 by nine for normal content. When you get anywhere close to that, we can stretch it and make it work perfectly and then bring up horizontal masking in 2.4. But it all happens automated. And here's the point. We've done so many and they give you so much capability that we've written a lot of code. And so if you're a DIYer and you're anywhere in the country, the vast majority of these, we ship it all the way across the country. The box comes in, you plug an HDMI cable from your processor into the Mad VR. Mad VR then goes in your normal HDMI to the projector. And then we actually team viewer in with you. So we remote in. And we'll obviously we, we ask you a host of questions in the beginning. Like, do you want it to look exactly the way it was intended? Do you like this or that? Mm -hmm. Or do you want more stretch? And, and we know how you answer that question. We sure. rapidly go through and we set it up and you see it and we do it live. And um, I mean, Rick can tell you the response from our customers are we've gotten very, very good at it. Well, yeah, I mean, there's no doubt that Audio Vice is, you know, one of our leading dealers and one of the leading experts in the country uh, and also I should say specializes in remote support. So having someone online with audio advice remoting into the unit is yeah. essentially just like being in the room with you. Yeah. And that's exactly how they set up mine. I mean, they were able to dial it in and again, they had that conversation. What are you looking for? What do you like? And my big thing is I've got a scope screen and I want to make sure that for the most part, it's always full. You know, because I've got this massive screen. I want to be immersed. And so 16 by 9 content on a scope screen looks gorgeous because of that nonlinear stretch. It doesn't just distort the image. It does a little bit of crop, a little bit of stretch, a little bit of push. And it makes this beautiful image regardless of what content. And I love the fact that it switches automatically for me. And I'm one of those guys. I'm kind of a set it and forget it. And so I don't like to get in there and tweak. But the cool thing is, is that it, you've made it really, really easy for customers once it's set up to be able to hit a couple buttons, turn this on or off, adjust this, you know, more motion AI, less motion AI, a little bit of motion blur, no motion blur. And even I can, you know, adjust those and see visually what I like uh, the best. But I think it'd be a good transition of 
maybe talk about, maybe Rick, you can share what are the differences between like the Mark one, which is what I have and the Mark two that came out and like what value proposition do we have with this new uh, recertified program with the Mark ones? Yeah, no, that's a great question, Michael. So, uh, cause a lot of people ask, so the Mark two is all new custom case. Uh, it's a beautiful case, uh, 20 millimeter aluminum front. Um, all new revamp, what we call Glacier X2 cooling technology. So it runs really cool and really quiet. Uh, it's also four rack unit size instead of five, which is important for, for many people. And the other big thing too is, you know, all upgraded components. And in particular, you know, we've doubled the amount of GPU horsepower available in the Mark II to position the product for growth of our new upcoming algorithms and things in the future. But the key thing is outside of the cooling performance um, and for today's and what the product can do, all the amazing things that people have been doing today. And they've been buying Mark 1s, you know, for the last three and a half, four years. Um, all that's still very relevant and runs great on the, on, the Mark, on the Mark 1 as well. So it's a great way to for those that, you know, are looking for a more affordable way to not break the bank uh, mm -hmm. to possibly fit it into the budget. It's a great option for them without really sacrificing a whole lot, you know, in what the product's all about in today's terms. Yeah. And Scott, you and I, I know you've done a lot of videos on the Mad VR, on the different settings. I did a video not too long ago, even just demonstrating what I was talking about earlier, how it fills my screen. Um, and so I'll definitely link as many of those videos as I can down in the description. So if you guys are watching this video, and you're like, hey, I want to know a little bit more about this. I know they didn't do a deep dive into these features, but I'd like to learn more about it, see if that's a good fit for me. I'll definitely link it in the show notes below. Yeah, and I, you know, I think it probably goes without saying when if you just look at Audivice as an example, as soon as we had tested them in the early days, I got a Mark One. My partner Leon, who founded Audivice, got a Mark One. We put a Mark One in all of our stores <laughs> and our uh, expert who does all the remote settings of, you know, Mark ones, Mark twos, uh, you know, everything else, you know, put one in his house. And so every one of us is living with them because we think they're that good. Right. And mm -hmm. then obviously, as you might imagine, we couldn't help ourselves. We all upgraded to Mark twos when they came out yeah. and then there was a line to buy our Mark ones. <laughs> right. Yeah. You're selling that one. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it, it's, you know, the way I think about customers, there's probably some of your viewers sitting on here thinking about like, you know, do I fit into someone that would like this? Mm -hmm. We generally find there's, there's three buckets of, of people that like this. Bucket one is what I would call someone who says, look, I'm just tired of, you know, every time any aspect ratio comes up a 2.0 and I got black bars and then I got to hit a button on my, um, projector to change and it's zooming in and out and then it never fits perfectly because maybe I've set two zoom settings and you know it's they want it all automated which is a little bit Michael what you're talking about you just you want it to work and that tends to be a significant amount of customers that really value the aspect ratio management and the way it can make something uh, of a certain aspect ratio look perfect on your screen uh, without even realizing it's stretched yeah. um, those customers view it as that's my value and all this other great video, how much better the image looks is all just great. Yeah. So, so that's bucket one. And then bucket two is we get the folks that come in from, you know, AVS or all the forums that geek out and they want to be able to go in this movie. Let's just say it's an interstellar or a movie that jumps between 2.4 and 16 by nine. And yeah. in this particular movie, I want it exactly the way it was intended. I don't want to stretch it at all, but when I'm watching, you know, Bachelorette with my family, right, I want it stretched and all this. Stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and so they want the different combinations and they want to be able to play with that mm -hmm. and turn it on and off. We've got sure. a lot of those people that fall in that bucket. And as you said, we're tweaking these things and setting them up buttons and automation and all sorts of stuff remotely. And then we're going, okay, this button, this button, this button, this mm -hmm. button, you got these seven buttons. Yeah. And, and you can get it anywhere you want. And then there's the group that's that, which is probably the largest group that's a little bit in between. They're like, I got the new toy. I love the fact that it handles the major stuff. And I want just enough of this tweaky stuff that I can make <laughs> it through. In fact, in the one I implemented today, um, and I was online with our expert that handles them across the country. And he and I were like showing, I mean, it used to take us 
many, many hours to set these things up, to dial it in perfectly. And we were doing it and training three people while we did it. So they were in the room with me and he and I were going toe to toe, like, you know, you can set up like this and we'll do it like that. And we're moving super, super fast. But in this particular one, it's right in between the homeowner wants the automation and the luxury experience where it's filling the screen what it needs to, but the homeowner also wants sometimes to go, I want this movie exactly as it is coming out of my Kaleidoscape or Blu-ray player. And uh, so we get just enough buttons to not confuse the family, yeah. but make it really cool. Well, I definitely think that the Matt VR Envy is like, it's just incredible. I mean, honestly, there's a reason why this year when I went to see it, it's in almost every one of the theater rooms. There's a reason why we have them at M-Wave. They're incredible. They provide just beautiful, beautiful imagery. We've got incredible features, very robust. Like you said, very customizable depending on the application. I just think it's a super product. So Rick, you and your team, man, I'm grateful. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you, Michael. Uh, it all stems from the fact that, um, you know, my, my co-founder Matias and I, you know, we're passionate enthusiasts and, and we love movies and home theater and perfection. So it's, it's a product that comes out of love and trying to, develop something that will bring that joy to the most extreme level possible and to be able to share it with everyone. So, you know, it's, we, we run a business, but it's also our passion and our hobby. And we hope that that shines through. Yeah. You know, I, I think one of the cool things about it as well is, um, you know, I did a, a video that was sort of talking about, you know, what would you do as an upgrade uh, uh, for a home theater. No, should you do an anamorphic lens? Should you do a mad VR? And what order would you do them in? And those types of things. What's great about the mad VR is that it can work in any budget level theater. Meaning we've put them in theaters that are $400,000 mm -hmm. that have got, you know, $80,000 projectors in them and it takes it up to that level. And okay. we put them in theaters that the mad VR itself was almost as expensive as the theater. Right. And so they went with a less expensive projector. The audio sure. system wasn't it wasn't. And what it did was it stepped up the level of the entire system. And so I, it, it's one of the few products in our space that we all love this home theater space that really works in any level of system and can kick it up, whether it's a more entry level or incredibly expensive. Well, I think that just offering that at a much more affordable option. I'm not saying it's actually affordable because we all have different budgets, different uh, disposable incomes, but it's a much lower barrier to entry to be able to get into the Mad VR. So I think this program is pretty exciting. I think a lot of my audience are going to resonate with that and be excited as well. Well, look, we appreciate you having us on. It was a lot of fun. You know, Michael, it's always a blast chatting with you. I miss seeing you at Audio Vice Live. And like, Hey, I'm already ready, man. I'm ready to come back. I was telling this customer today, I was like, we're going to come back and shoot a video with next week. And I was like, I got to get Michael to, when he comes back to Audivice Live, I'm going to get Michael back out of here because this yeah. was a really cool one with some stuff that no one has ever seen before. So I'm, I'm going to get you back with a few more when you come back. Yeah. That's exciting. We always have a good time when we hang out. <laughs> we do. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have links to a lot of the Mad VR NV Extreme videos that both myself as well as Scott and his team have put together. I'll have those down in the description below, as well as a link so where you can purchase one for yourself. Hope you guys have an incredible week. God bless. We'll catch you in the next video.